At first glimpse, it looks like a pretty good axe. Stamped China, so the steel's probably not too good. Newer because the head is glued in. Nice size, handles in good shape. So is it worth anything? Yeah, it definitely is. I'd like to first start out by saying it's important that you take the best care of your ax because I feel that is the true ultimate bush tool is your ax and it should be really well maintained, super sharp, you shouldn't do anything to damage it. But these old axes that we find, and old in the sense of just not high quality, beat up, we don't care too much about them, can be super valuable around camp. It eliminates having to need a lot of other tools to get jobs done and I'm all about that. I love the efficiency of having a tool but sometimes having 18 different tools to get 18 different jobs done when I can just have one tool, all the better. So let's take a look at a couple different ways that we can use this ax to be more efficient around camp. We never want to hit metal on metal with an ax but having an old ax like this lets us drive in metal tent pegs. Hammer and nails, we never want to hammer nails with the back of our ax, but this one, we can. Now, although these aren't red hot embers, there's still some hot embers in there. We can use the head of this ax to take these hot embers and maybe dump them on top of our Dutch oven. So this also is a tool that helps us in case we don't have a shovel. Or we can use it as a shovel. If we need to dig something like a latrine or set trap beds, we can take the bit of this and dig it right in the dirt. We're not too worried about it. We still have our good ax back at camp. We can then use it to shovel out some of that dirt. Another option is taking out roots or small stumps. We don't want to have to dig around this. We can just literally chop this out of the way. Don't have to worry anything else about it. Now, one of my favorite things to do with old axes like this is carry small chunks of firewood. Literally lazy man way of doing things, but if you're working by yourself low on calories, it allows you to just walk around, hit a chunk of wood and walk away with it. You can move the piece wherever you need it and then drop it off that way. This edge is not super sharp, so the probability of cutting ourselves super low, but it's sharp enough to be able to just drive it in a piece of wood. Another thing is a wedge. Now we can do this with our ax. This is perfectly fine to do with your good ax, but if you are in a situation where you want to really maintain that edge of your ax at a stationary type camp, then, you know, go ahead, grab the old ax and use that as your splitting wedge. Not a problem at all, easy to do. These old axes are great for also rolling logs. So we have a big heavy log here. It's like a second hand. You know, you drive that in, help us roll it over. Now that was just a few different uses for this old ax. Some of that stuff you could do with your ax, some you wouldn't want to do with your ax. The point being, having one tool eliminates the need for shovels, hammers, picks, all of those different tools with just one simple tool. Worst case scenario, sharpen this thing up and get a little bit more use out of it. You need for splitting or whatever else you would need. If say you even lose your ax, you have at least something to back it up. But picking up something like this cheap at a yard sale, definitely worthwhile. Biggest thing you need to keep in mind, make sure the handle's in good condition. You don't want that head breaking off while you're using it around camp. And hey, it's another versatile tool, carrying it in once, leaving it there, and don't worry about it. Just remember, think outside the box, think bigger picture. It just makes life that much more comfortable in the woods. As always, check us out over coldcrackerbushcraft.com, and until the next video, stay in the woods.